Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's interesting video, we are going to see another scenario which is very important in real time and also you know, for your interviews. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So here the situation is, you know, like I want top M sales for the date selected. Okay. Now the challenge here is I have dates in column. Unlike in our previous scenarios where we had date in row shelf, that was pretty easy and straightforward. Now the challenge is we have date in column shelf and no matter how many number of dates I select, it should give me top n values, whatever the requirement is, like say top 5 or top 10. So here in this situation, I have taken top 5. Now an another challenge to add to this is I want to have subtotals. Like say, no matter how many number of dates I am adding, it should give me a total to that. Okay. So let us try to solve this. Now see here, if I select 21, I'm getting you know, top five for that particular date in the states. Okay. And it is also giving me totals. Second, if I select an, another multiple dates. Now if you see here, it is trying to split across multiple dates while my total is being maintained here okay now this is something that i wanted to show you how we can do in this video so first thing what i have done is i went to a data source and i have taken only a few records so that it becomes easy for us to you know debug in case of any issues so this is one of the very primary checklist uh, you know for you, you know as a developer we cannot directly do testing on the entire data at once. Try to limit your data so that you can validate your calculations. And if there are any you know, fixes required, you can do that. Because, you know, at once you are loading millions of records and you are trying to validate your calculation, that might take a lot of time. So for that, to ease the process, I've taken only maybe 10 days of data here. And I've just, okay, and I've went into uh we'll create i just click on this okay and i'm creating i'm taking whatever i need here i'm taking a region and i'm taking state as well and i'm adding my sales so this is the raw data that we have now another requirement is we have date filter right so i'm taking date and dropping it on filter shelf so because we need individual dates, I'm taking that and I'm clicking on all for now, apply, okay. And I'm just clicking on show filter. So this is what we have here. Now user might select one date or multiple dates. We don't know, but we want all of, uh, only five values are here. So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to calculate rank for them. And based on that, I'll try to do rank of sum of sales descending okay so i'm bringing that into the view and i'm just here we need to tell it how to compute okay so i'm just uh, adding it to the filter shelf as well and i'm taking only five for now okay now let us check here so i'm selecting all okay we got only five records if i'm selecting one date i got five if i get select two dates five and it is working for us for now okay now what i'm doing is i'm trying to add a to date field on to column shelf and we will see if the result is being changed. Okay, I'm just changing it. Now, this is for a particular date here. I'm making it discrete. Now, this is for 21st to 12th. Okay, so for that particular date, we have this five days of sales. Okay, fine. So if I select multiple dates, you see now we have a problem here. Now, on in on total 
if I try to compute, we are getting more than five records that we don't want in the view. Now, how can we compute this? So here we need a little tweak in how rank is being calculated. I'm just going here and I'm computing at region level and maybe here also at the region level. Okay, and uh, at the region level here. It should be this, but I'm selecting only five from this here. Okay, so table across down should be the option that we need. So if I select the first date, I got five records. If I select the second record or second date, even then it is showing me five. Now if you see, all our uh, data is getting from this date. So if I select again multiple dates, that five is being maintained continuously across the view, no matter how many number of dates you are selecting and your date is going column R. Now, again, another thing that we want to add is we want to add a total to this. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just adding totals. Okay, but here, instead of normal total, I'm just using window sum. Okay, you can try for an alternative in this. I'm just trying to do some of sales and uh, click apply okay and i'm simply adding this to the view after converting that to discrete and here now let us try to validate 375 here here matching 517 18 71 71 24 24 it is matching for now if i'm selecting multiple dates now see here there is a difference in the value here so we it is actually 1137 and blank but it is giving us one six double one so the result is incorrect here so the computation is wrong here so this type of issue might occur in your real time also when you have columnar dates so using window sum we can you know fix this type of issues so you just need to go to compute you can select a cell you know and it should give you the value or you can also select in a region it is giving me the value. So overall, the intention behind doing or using compute using option is to let a tableau know how to calculate the values. So here the challenge was because we have null values, it is taking the values that are present in that particular date and it is giving us the result. Now see here, it is matching for now. If I select this, now everything is matching. Still, it is matching. Okay, now no matter what dates I select, it should fix the result. So, in this way, we can solve these type of issues in real time, which otherwise would consume a lot of your time. Okay, I hope you have found this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and have a good day.